they are stunned by his death. ABC 7's John Garcia is following that part of the story live outside the Apple store on Michigan Avenue tonight. John? The dispatch system serves 11 suburbs. Union employees have authorized a strike starting at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. ABC 7 Stacy Baca is following late developments on the talks live from Arlington Heights tonight. Stacy. Ron, we understand that they are making progress tonight. As you mentioned, Northwest is on one side, the management, if you will. On the other side, the union that represents the dispatchers. I just had a chance to talk to a union representative, and he tells me that money is not the issue. They've been able to agree on that. Right now, they're just concerned about operational issues, like scheduling, overtime, and management. Go on strike. And the union rep just telling me a short time ago, the goal is to settle the contract and not go on strike. Now, the chairman for Northwest told me earlier today, we made a sincere and honest attempt to close the gap. So once again, both sides apparently moving closer this evening. Reporting live in Arlington Heights, I'm Stacey Vaca, ABC 7 News. Ron, Cheryl, back to both of you. All right, Stacey, still to come, run for president next year. The former Alaska governor said in a video that you don't need an office or a title to make a difference. Palin adds that she won't consider running as a third party candidate because splitting the Republican vote would assure President Obama's reelection.